Hello, I'm Tone and welcome to my channel where I showcase and review model engines. Remember to subscribe and now let's discuss some trains. Our discussion is about the Hornby Terrier. Firstly here is the box. You can see I paid $145, but luckily that is Australian. The front of the box is a large image of the engine and you can see that it is an OO model. The top of the box shows you, well, the top of the model. The back of the box tells the story of the engine and the class in general, like how they were called terriers after their exhaust sounded like it was barking, and how Leadenhall was put on the duplicators list in 1901 and then met the cutter's torch. On the other side is just a bunch of legal words. Inside the box is Leadenhall in a block of ice style packaging. And here is the lovely terrier. As you can see, it has lots of separately fitted details. And there is a ton of small details inside the cab. The wheels make it clear that they're made of plastic. Here is the Westinghouse pump. And here is a pretty nice fake coupling. The copper cap is sadly painted on and is not made of any real metal. In conclusion, I love this bottle. There are so many details and it just looks amazing. It's certainly better than the Dapper one, which is much worse quality. The Hornby one, however, is good, so I rate it a 9 out of 10. Remember, if you have opinions on this model, I would love to hear them. Goodbye, and I'll see you next time with a much larger engine.